Hey guys, today I want to talk about this Pelican IP68 floating waterproof phone pouch case. So, it comes in a few different colors. This is the black and lime. Um, it also has a detachable lanyard if you want to use it. If not, you can just take it off here. This is also adjustable in length if you want it shorter or longer. Works either way. So, this claims that it is waterproof for up to 30 minutes in a meter of water, so about three feet or so of water. Um, I'm going to show you how well it fits my stuff. Um, this here is the regular size. It does come in two sizes, regular and extra large. So obviously I'm filming with my phone. This is just a phone case. It's pretty big, pretty bulky for a phone case. Um, definitely bigger than the phone itself. So it goes in pretty easily. Um, it fits pretty much almost exactly perfectly. Um, I'm not sure if I'd be able to fit like a set of keys or anything in here as well. I might be able to, but it would definitely be a tight fit. S this pouch right here, it's clear and it is touch screen. Um, they also have a smaller opening over here, which is really convenient because then you can keep, make sure your phone is safe in from any like water, sand, debris, anything like that, but you can still use it to take pictures, um, things like that. And then to close it up, all you have to do Put these little notches in here and close it. So I've used these a few times um, and I just wanna show you so you guys can see for yourselves if this is actually waterproof. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of paper in here and then I have a tray of water right here. We're gonna put it in, submerge it, see if it actually floats, see if it actually is waterproof and go from there. All right, so here's a piece of paper, fits easily within here. I just wrote the name of the product on it. We're gonna slide it in there, seal it up. All right, so it's sealed how it should be. Paper's in there, let's see how well this works. So first, you can see it does float. Now, obviously it just has a piece of paper in it. It's nothing incredibly heavy like a phone would be, but even if we totally submerge it, it floats right back up. So you see it was submerged. So far the paper looks okay. I'm just gonna kind of submerge it for a little bit just to give it a little bit more time, see if it still is waterproof. So far it seems to be doing pretty good. It's been underwater and it doesn't seem like anything has gotten in from the outside. The paper looks pretty nice and dry. Um, and it does, every time I let it go, float right back up to the top, which is definitely a good sign. All right, it's been a few minutes, so let's take this piece of paper out, see what it looks like. Obviously my hands are a little wet, so that might get just the size of this wet, but as you can see, this is Totally dry except for where my fingers are, but looks to be an otherwise perfect shape. So as you can see, this definitely works. Um, keeping things dry, I think it has a lot of really cool features, including the touchscreen ability and the lanyard, just some other options for how to take it around with you. So I would definitely recommend this. My boyfriend and I use it all the time when we're like kayaking, canoeing, anything where our phones, our keys, wallets could get wet. Um, this has come in a lot of handy, so I would definitely recommend it.